Hello everyone, I would first like to give recognition to the police officers that did have the time to be here today. We really appreciate y'all and it means a lot to our community that y'all are able to make it. So to truthfully understand police brutality and the injustices that stem from it, we have to understand the root. Police in America were first volunteers of the white community used to track and capture slaves. Most of them worked for free and had little care or concern for people of color. In 1883, Samuel Battle, an African-American, volunteered to become an officer and followed the lead of his white counterparts. His image was used to manipulate us into believing they were here for the safety and protection of our communities. It's been over 130 years and we are still battling that same manipulation. We have still not put this issue at ease or received our reparations. Whew. Minority people are still 32% more likely to die at the hands of police. As a mother to a young black man in America, it hurts me to know I have to hug him a little tighter. I have to tell him I love him an extra time. I have to check on him more every time he leaves home because I fear he may have come across the radar of a police officer having a bad day. It angers me to know that the people that we are paying to protect us are getting paid to kill us. Today, I come before you to say, I know all officers are not murderers. I know most police want to protect our communities, but that should not be at the cost of our lives by racially discriminating against the same people who built this country with our bare hands. We want to breathe, we want to feel equal, and until that day is here, we will not stop. I wrote this poem in reference to George Floyd's life. He couldn't breathe, so now I have to do it for him. Like 400 years ago, when we were taken and brought into danger, I can't feel the waves against the boat, but I can feel the anger. I can't feel the whips and chains, but the pain still lingers. I can't feel the nukes get tighter or the board from my feet be swept away, but somehow I still can't breathe. I can't taste the food that was cooked for you, but I will no longer swallow my thoughts. I can't touch the baby that was sold or the husband that was given to the house down the road, but I can still feel my distance. It's called my resistance. I can't see why you raped my sister, but I can see the beautiful biracial queens walking today. I can feel my words. I can taste my victory. I can touch my beginning. It's feeling kind of hot and I will breathe whether you want me to or not. Thank you.